Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike. It's Dan. Today we're gonna have a uh, pretty, this is gonna be a really sensitive discussion and the comment section is gonna explode with some 50 Cent Army stuff. <laughs> I'm sure I'm already feeling I, it. I really, I mean, I really don't think there is. But let's is, give our uh, opinions on this. Yeah. Because this is like, this is a big news item that's happening yeah. in, in mainland China and, and Taiwan right now. All right. Um, if you guys don't know, don't know the story by now, it's, there's this pop star named Zhou Ziyu. 16 years old. She sings in a Korean pop band that's made up of uh, different nationalities of singers. Right. And uh, basically, she appeared on a, but she was holding the Taiwanese flag because she's Taiwanese. Yeah. And then what happened? Well, then, uh, well, it didn't happen, I think, directly after that video because the, the, the image was flagged by this other entertainer called Huang An, mm -hmm. which actually I was a fan of when I was in mainland China. Oh, okay. He's kind of an older entertainer. Right. And uh, he's a singer, and he tweeted it out right. on his Weibo account. Right. And then that attracted so much attention. Right. It's like probably a lot of people didn't catch it right then and there, but of course nowadays you put something out in the Twitter sphere or the Weibo sphere, and then it's going to go nuts. Right. So what happened after that was then she started getting backlashes. Mm -hmm. uh, from mainland Chinese people who are like, because Huang An flagged her because he's like, well, she's pro Taiwan independence. So then, you know, obviously Taiwan independence is a very sensitive topic Absolutely. in Taiwan and in mainland China. So the company, JYP Entertainment, mm -hmm. um, they didn't take any action in, in the beginning because they're right. like, well, so what? So there's hold a flag. Yeah. Because they also didn't want to alienate their Taiwan fan base. Of course. But then that company started getting like flack from basically their mainland Chinese, mainland base. Chinese base. So now you're basically, you're you're right in the middle. Like, which side do you choose? Right. So what they did is they made her, Joseph yeah. Yu, do a public apology. I'll show you, we'll show you guys uh, a little bit here. Hello, Wash 我决定终止目前中国一切的活动，认真反省。再次再次的向大家道歉，对不起。And this apology basically now it's on Western media. Now you're, now it's making its rounds, you know, Washington Post everywhere, and a lot of people are like, when they learned why she was doing this, um, that's when you know, the Western world's kind of getting into the conversation. Right. Well, let's first talk about her video here. Okay. I mean, you guys saw the video. A little background about her. She came from a very pro-Taiwan independence family. Mm -hmm. So she, all her life she grew up, she's right. been taught, you know, Taiwan is an independent country or whatever. Right. And now she has to basically say in the video, right. basically say, nope, Taiwan is part of China. I'm right. really, you know, proud I, to be Chinese. Yeah. I think, um, I mean... If she is really pro Taiwanese, it sounds like, and to say something like that, I think it's almost like going against. I wouldn't say going against your beliefs, but it really affects you because goes against your principles. Your principles, right? And and to basically succumb to that, of course, why? Because of your professional career, I'm thinking, right? Because right? your company signed, said you have to do it. Otherwise, you're, you're 16 years old, right? So you're getting paid, you have fame, and your life is in control by this company. You're pretty much torn between your career. And your allegiance right. to your family and country. And, you know, we're, we're inherent, obviously, we're Chinese, so we have a lot of these values ourselves, you know. And if you don't grow up in the West knowing that, um, for, you know, knowing that basically freedom is one of the most important things, you, you'll be torn because right. you're being forced to choose sides. And I can see, I think that that's why she was very emotional. She was very emotional. Mm -hmm. And secondly, and this is why this video got, well, not this particular, but with the emotional mm -hmm. part also added added to the fact that she read the apology from a piece of paper. Right. 
and she wasn't emotional at first. When she was reading it at first, she was basically like, like you don't believe what she's right. saying because she's basically like, I'm, it's almost I'm like a right. ransom note, extremely staged, right? You know. Um, but then, of course, I think later on, like everything caught up to her, and you can imagine, sixteen years old in the in the middle of this giant like fight, you know, and she basically, I think she just kind of started maybe like right. breaking down. And so because of these things, mm -hmm. the mainland Chinese uh, who are pro, you know, uh, poor anti Taiwan independence, correct? Um, they start attacking the video and her and her. the company even more, right? Because they're like, okay, you're not sincere, right? Uh, you're reading this, and right. you know, obviously, we, we want we don't you buy to it. sincerely say right. it, right? And then, of course, Taiwanese, a lot of people support her because I think they feel for her. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's some people who are also ripping her right. too because they're like, how do you not stand up for your mm -hmm. own country? Now, here's the uh, yeah. here's the here's the crazy part of it. Okay. Here's the conspiracy part of this. Taiwan elections just happened, mm. and the new president is pro Taiwan independence. Okay. Now the video I think was released uh, the night before the election. Okay. Something like that. It's really close to the election, and before that, her poll numbers dropped by a significant amount because uh -huh. they they're you know people are saying because after her debate or something, her poll numbers drop because right. people don't see her as a strongly opinionated Leader woman or, or yeah. she doesn't have a good plan in her head. Mm -hmm. So because of this video and because of the sentiment that the Taiwanese had right. towards this, towards her and the I'm video, sure her numbers shot up. Her numbers shot up because right. she stood for Taiwan independence. Right. So she became elected. Right. So now a lot of people are saying this is a staged conspiracy by a lot of people to Whoa, that's, fix the election. That's... Too. Um, Oh, dude, that's a lot of that, yeah. that's like a lot of conspirating right. going on. I mean, putting a sixteen-year-old in the middle of this. What, yeah. what do you think about that? I mean, look, I don't know if that's true or not, but let's come back to the basis okay. of this. Let's go back to the original let's story. Let's go yeah. back to the facts of the story. Right. She's sixteen. She had a belief that was ingrained in her throughout her lifetime. Mm -hmm. Whether you support it or not, right. we can all support that. Everyone's you know entitled to their own opinions. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. And then she's. She does something as innocent as she held a flag. Right. And she got tormented. Exactly. I mean, it's. I think it's pretty bad what happened to her. I'm definitely on her side, of course. You know, I'm, you know, there's going to be people, of course, that are, you know, pro, pro, or anti Taiwan. I'm not really political, right? so I don't really have like a strong, you know, one way or the other stance on that. Right. I'm definitely against any country trying to oppress another country. I don't right. care if it's China, right. anywhere. So politically, know? I don't really have a stance, right. but I stand for you have a right to your beliefs. Absolutely. Absolutely. I stand for you're entitled to your opinions. Yep. When pe to me, like when I say if if I have friends that are Taiwanese, they don't say that they don't go. I'm not ethnically Chinese, but they they're from Taiwan. Like if you're Chinese from Malaysia. It's okay to say if you're Malaysian. It's okay to say if you're Chinese. It's not like they're dissing Chinese, but mainland Chinese people, and trust me, we know this because a lot of mainland Chinese people will, will rip me. And maybe you, you're like, you're not, how, you're not Chinese. I'm like, dude, I'm so, I'm Chinese. We make videos about Asian culture. I'm probably more Chinese than you in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. You know, so if somebody ever said that to me, I'd be like, you're insane. And for a whole, a lot of people in that country to say that, I think that um, that's, a, that's a problem because now you've got, Hundreds of millions of people attacking somebody. Um, that's not cool. Yeah, me. I mean, I feel for her mm -hmm. uh, personally as a person um, because, like, should I mean, at that age, if I, I'm thinking back when I was 16, I was like, a, I was like a little dumb kid, you know, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, a little yeah. dumb kid. What was yeah. I doing at 16? Like, I just came back from China. I'm just stupid. Right. You know, I'm applying for colleges. I'm not. I mean, look, she's obviously probably a lot more grown up than I was when I was 16 because right. she. She's a famous person. She she's dealing with uh, you know media. She's dealing with, with the spotlight. She, mm -hmm. She's obviously probably a lot more mature than I was, but still sixteen. Right. And basically, a nation of people is like just attacking you. Absolutely. On your and, and it's not like the old days where like okay you don't hear about it unless right. you get like a like a letter, but you don't have to open it. Right. You know, like nowadays it's like your social media account gets gets attacked, like your company's social media account, you hear about it. Right. She has absolutely a hundred percent her right to if she feels she's Taiwanese, she should be able to tell the world and not have people now, here's what here's here's the one thing. Maybe like looking back on it, seeing that this whole thing happened, um, 
maybe like her management company tells her to not do certain things. But then again, that still kind of encroaches on your right. You know what belief, I would you know do? I mean? You know what I would do if I was her? I'd be like, you know what? Fine. I'm just going to. I'm gonna stand for what I believe in because first of all, that's what we. Right. And that's why I love being a YouTuber. Yeah. Because we don't we don't answer to anybody. We're no. like, no. yeah, we're gonna make this video, and no, no one's gonna. We will sponsor us. you. Okay, see you like, later. Fine. It's <laughs> like, not whatever. We're, we're gonna yeah. tell you our opinions. Be yeah. honest with you guys, and that's why I think you guys watch us too because we don't have that's any right. interest at play. We don't have any skin in any game. Exactly. If I was her, I'd be like, you know what? I'm talented. You know, I'm gonna just appease my Taiwanese fan base. Then I'm, I'm still gonna stand for what I believe in. And right. I, 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 people in Taiwan love me. Whatever, I'm just gonna f- forget you guys in mainland China. Then, then if you guys are gonna kill me for it, I, I could see in a perfect world, I would absolutely tell her to do that, and I hope she does that. But I think in reality, as a 16 year old, like you, unless you're Taylor Swift, you really, you really don't know how to market yourself, or don't, you know, what she I mean? can't like, find people for that. I think. She, think about it. She's gaining so much popularity from this right now. Yeah. Like. You know, no, I see what you're saying. And then go go to Taiwan, just work I, this dude, Taiwanese market. I, I'm totally with you, but I just I just think she that doesn't have young to deal people, with this. I just don't feel like she she need, unless she has like some contract I that totally, she can't get out of. Dude, I'm totally I, yo. I I hope that there is another company where they're like, hey, if you leave your management company, come over here. You can still do what you do, but I don't I don't know. Yeah, if that's go the start case. a YouTube channel, Josie. You like be one of us. Come on our show, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, come on we, our show. If we you have can. friends that are famous in Taiwan. Do go. We? Yeah, we do. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Come on, man. And, he, and he's not even Chinese. Um, so I, I really hope that uh, she, you know, this doesn't affect her in the long run. And I think that uh, you know, I would, I definitely support her. Yeah, yeah, me too. You know? So I really yeah, wish so. her the best, and uh, hopefully, you know, she seemed like a bright, bright, bright young girl, and hopefully, she can just stand for what she believes in. Yep. All right, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later. See you.